Hello everyone, welcome back to part three of my Tapeology Rub-Ons mini-series. Today I want to work with some of the wooden tags that they sent me, so let's just park those out of the way for the time being. And then I've pulled out some of the non-traditional coloured rub-ons that they sent me. I've pulled out these mini ones that I thought might be nice for some of the smaller size tags. I'm parking the traditional colour for the time being because otherwise it just gets a bit too over overwhelming when you've got too many things to choose from and then I've got um, the sort of more neutral tones I've got the pink tones the gold and the silver white um, so let's see what we can come up with I've got a couple of ideas in mind that I think you might enjoy let's start off with the most simple of the ideas that I've got and that's just adding something to the tag um, in, in its original um, wooden state this is just um, plywood now I've had a quick look and there are loads of different images that um, I really like. I love that little snowman. I think he's adorable. Um, I love that one, but that's perhaps a bit too small. So that's um, an option. And I also love this church as well. How gorgeous um, is that? And that would fit on really nicely as well. Oh, decisions, decisions. Actually, We've got another one of these tags here that's um, like a house shape. So maybe um, we could do two. Let's let's do it. I've cut out a few bits and pieces that I thought I might be able to use. I really like the snowman with the sprig um, of holly. Um, I also cut um, this out as well. Now, could I have that at the bottom perhaps? And um, something for him to stand on. I've also cut out some of these little um, snowflakes as well, gold snowflakes from various um, sets of the rub-ons. I was wondering whether I could have this tiny weeny one. These are so difficult to pick up I should uh, find my tweezers. Whether I could put the tiny one um, over the hole there like that perhaps and then maybe another one to make it um, three. Now I want to punch a hole um, just so that I can pop some twine through. So I'm just going to use my awl like this and then choose some twine that I think goes really well with the colour of this. Let's have a look and um, see which colour would work. You see the green would work really well, wouldn't it? I wonder if we perhaps use this um, dark green um, this time. What I do want to do first, though, I was thinking it would be really nice to add a touch of gold just around the outside. Now, this is um, treasure gold in the colour Renaissance. It's quite expensive, um, but it just lasts um, such a long time. Um, you don't need very much of this. And I'm just going to apply just a tiny amount around the edge like this just to give it more of that um, that festive vibe. Now I've got three strands of um, of this and it's a little bit tricky to get through that tiny weeny hole. I always keep um, a little pot of doodads on my desk and I've got a piece of bent over wire like this and it acts perfectly as a makeshift needle so hopefully this will help me drag my thread through the hole and there we go there it is so let's get rid of the the wire just pull that out and now of course it'll be really easy for me to um, pull pull that through really like how that looks and then I'm just going to trim this off at the top so that they're all the same size I might even make that um, a little bit shorter um, of course you could have it so that um, it's a loop so that um, it could be a t attached to um, a gift um, do it however you want but um, isn't that adorable let me just um, hold it up so that you can see and the gold on the side has just um, finished that off really nicely. So let's do the church next. Now for the church, I've already cut the shape out, but I'd like something to try and give it um, a little bit more height. And I was thinking I could maybe cut out this Christmas tree here. It's narrow enough um, for it to fit. So I'm thinking my church will go here and then I can put um, the pine tree behind it just to give it um, a little bit more height. So I'm going to go off and do that now. Let me show you this because this is a little bit tricky. I need to hold my church in place and then I'm going to have to lift, lift that up so that I can see where I want it to go. I'm not pressing too hard at the moment just so that I can um, manoeuvre it um, around. So that's on and I'm going to have to rub this off first. 
and then just putting my church over the top, making sure to um, to ground it about there, I think. There we are. Another tip for you. Some of these smaller embellishments are quite tricky um, to get off. So use a pokey tool just to lift that um, that plastic. They're harder to get off um, the wood than they are paper or fabric, but um, isn't that gorgeous? So yep, just the addition of a little snowflake. I'm going to add gold around the outside now and some twine again through the top. And this time I've used sort of like a tealy coloured um, thread. Um, isn't that just beautiful? I love layering these. It just gives them so much more interest. Now for my next idea, I've got this beautiful festive um, fabric. I think I got this from a local floristry um, supply shop years ago. This is all I've got left. It came on a great big reel. And I'm just going to stick some of this down. Now let me just grab a piece of parchment paper because I'm going to use glue stick. Um, as um, in the first video I did using fabric, you could use Fabri-Tac if you want to, but I just find it seeps through the fabric and leaves a mark, which I find really unsightly. Um, and you know, this is thin enough for glue to work really well. This is Pritt stick and um, it's a permanent glue stick and I find that it holds incredibly well. So let's just make sure that we've got plenty, um, especially around the edges. There we go, I've gone it really heavy handed um, with that. Let's take that off and I'm just going to, in fact, I'll turn it over and I'll pop it um, on the back like this. I don't know why I just turned that upside down. It wouldn't have made the slightest bit of difference. Um, about there. Don't overthink it, Nina. And then I'm just going to really burnish this down with my um, bone folder and just give it um, a couple of minutes for the glue to grab before I um, cut it away with my fabric scissors. That's had about 20 minutes and I did end up um, weighting it down underneath a heavy book and um, it's stuck really nicely. Now you can either trim it um, away if you want to. All I'm going to do is just try and get as close to the edge as I as I can and just cut the excess away. I'll have to uh, trim it here, I think, because um, it, otherwise it's just gonna be a bit tricky, but you can see what I'm doing, just trying to get my scissors up close as I can. I've cut all of the extra away and you can see that that's all nice and neat. That's what it um, looks like on the back. But I need to punch um, the hole here. Now, I think if I use my cropper dial, it's not going to work very well. So I'm just going to place this on um, a cutting mat. And I've got one of these tools here. It's a Japanese screw punch. If you Google or place into Amazon or eBay um, Japanese screw punch, they're really inexpensive, you know, six or seven pounds, but it's just a really useful tool tool to have. This is what it looks like and it comes with um, all of these different um, size punches as well and I'm going to go in through the back and what you do is you just put it in and you just sort of screw like this and it's already come out as you can see. Um, much neater I think than using a cropper dial for this purpose. To me there's something really luxurious about using fabric um, on these types of projects. Did I say that already? Now what I'm thinking is that I would really love to have the fireplace. I'm going to cut that out. I'm also going to cut out this tree here and the girl and the teddy bear um, in the box. It might not work, I don't know. I'm going to cut them out um, just so that I can see. The pieces I cut out didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. I felt that this tree was more of an outside tree, so I cut this one out instead, but it's just going to get lost. You're not going to um, see any of it. It just really doesn't work. And the girl is just too big as well and covers up most of that beautiful fireplace. Um, so I've come up with a plan. I've found these little um, tiny stalks stockings on one of the mini sheets and um, I found this one here on the, the green um, set. I think I got this from this um, one here. What I'm going to do with these is cut them in half and hang one little stocking um, either
either side of the fireplace and then I'm just going to put some mistletoe on there um, like that. I love how this little scene has turned out. Um, now, a couple of things I've done. I added some um, a very small amount of art glitter glue, which I kept. I put on a piece of parchment paper and kept dabbing my fingers um, in just to act as a, a fray check around the edges. I've also gone around with the gold again. The back is a bit unsightly. My hands are a bit wet. I've just been off to wipe the um, extra gold off. But I found um, this beautiful paper here and it was in one of the packs that I got from Journal Say. Um, I'll leave the link to this pack in the description box below. Um, so all I'm going to do is find um, a nice spot for this about there I think and I'm just going to glue it um, glue this paper on the back with a glue stick. I'm going to use my Japanese hole punch again just to get rid of that excess paper that's done underneath so that's really neat and then finally let me just move um, that out of the way in fact actually I could bring it back. I've got um, an emery board and I'm just going to go around the edge of the paper just to make sure that that's, um, that's nice and tidy And because uh, I've cut it with my scissors so far and this will just get rid of any of the excess paper and um, you know just make it a much um, neater, neater finish. Now you could um, ink around the edges if you wanted to but I'm just going to leave it be and add my string. Now this time I've chosen gold so the same trick I'm just going to um, pull that through, remove my needle and tie this together and I just think these make really cute um, little tags. Now what I'll do this time is perhaps tie um, a knot in the top so you know I could hang this um, on the tree if I wanted to or attach it to a gift for the recipient to hang on their tree and I just think that's absolutely um, beautiful. What do you think? You just hold it up close so that you can um, you can see it. Um, I just think the fabric looks like wallpaper. Um, just beautiful. Let's do a similar thing um, using paper. I've got um, another idea for doing this and incorporating um, some fabric as well. So I've got my disc. Um, this has come from the same pack that um, I used for the back of this one here. You get two of each design. So I'm going to glue one on the front and one on the back. And as soon as I've done that, I'll be straight back. So this is what it's looking like so far. It's exactly the same on both sides. Um, it's nice and neat. I've gone around the edges again using an emery board. Um, I will um, add some gold, but uh, but not yet because I want to add some fabric. I've also punched um, my hole at the top, as you can see. Now I've used another piece of this linen that, um, that um, was sent to me and I've glued a disc down to it. Now this is um, just a piece of cardboard that I've cut out using my two and a half inch circle punch and I'm just going to carefully and as neatly as I can just cut around the edges. So I've gone around my circle, I've cut as close to the edges as I can and again I'm just going to go um, all around with an emery board which will just give it a little bit of fraying and make it look a little bit more rustic. Let me hold it up. So this is what it's like um, around the edges. It's got um, a little bit of a fray on it. Um, so I all I need to do now is just choose an image to go on it. And I think it's just got to be the carriage. I just think it's beautiful. So let me cut this out. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. Now, before I glue this down, um, I like the idea of having a ribbon at the top. Um, I thought um, a lovely um, velvet ribbon. The only one I've got in my stash is red and I don't think that goes, but I do have this ribbon here, which I think will go beautifully. So I'm going to attempt to make my own. Now, how do I, how do, I do this? Let's see if I can remember how to do it. So I'm just crossing. Um, over like this and then I can pull it um, as tight as I want it because I don't want it to be too too big that's probably a little bit too big about there I think and I'm just going to wrap um, a piece of string um, around it well a piece of cotton how does that compare size wise to this one here I still think that I could um, go go smaller and I'm just comparing it to the one that um, that I've already 
got perhaps a little bit smaller still and then I've got a piece of blue um, cotton thread here and all I'm going to do is just really tightly wrap this um, around pulling it really really tight and um, not so tight that of course you you snap it it's it's fiddly I'm not going to lie but in fact, actually, it might be easier if I just cut. What have I done for my fabric scissors? I think I've popped them, um, put them away. Let's just cut that off. I'm allowing plenty. And so I'm just going to fiddle around with this. It's um, not very easy to do this on camera, but I'm just pulling it tight um, and then I'll tie it in a knot. So I've got my cute little bow and I'm happy with that. Now the ribbon is a little bit too thick to go through here if I double it up. So I've cut it um, into a point here and I'm going to see if I can get this to go through that um, hole. I'll probably um, need to trim it again. And what I'm thinking here, I don't know how long I want this to be. Um, I'd rather have it longer so that, um, you know, I can trim it down. I'll make it smaller at um, a later date if I want to. I think that's a little bit too long. And what I'm going to do again is use another piece of this cotton. I ended up with my um, little bow um, doubling the cotton over um, just so that um, it was a little bit stronger. So I'm going to do the same again here. And in fact, it doesn't really matter which way round I tie it because the front and the back are exactly the same. But I'm just going to just tie um, a knot at the at the bottom. Um, in fact, actually, this will go on the front because, of course, my bow will cover that up anyway. So I'm going to tie um, two or three knots here just to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Here we go, we'll do one more and then I can attach my my other bits and bits and pieces. So let's just cut this off, try not to cut my ribbon. And then I can cut this off at the right, <coughs> oh, excuse me, cut this off at the right length. I think I've got a piece of velvet fuzz stuck in my throat. And I can have my little bow on there like that. And then I'm just going to stick my embellishment down here with some art glitter glue. I think that's absolutely lovely. I'll hold it closer in a second. I'm leaving the video here for today, but oh my goodness me, that was such a lot of fun. I love making crafts like this. Um, and I'll leave the link to my Christmas playlist as well, because I've got some other ideas of making tags with fabric. Um, so if you're interested, do go and, um, and check that out. I'll also leave the link to um, part one of the Tapeology mini series and part two of course um do let me know what you think um which one is your favorite it's a really hard choice for me i absolutely love them all um but i think this one um is just the one that um swings it for me i just think that's gorgeous it's the blue velvet i absolutely love the color of this blue velvet with the blue in the carriage it's just gorgeous and of course that's what it looks like um on the back i've forgotten to um add the gold never mind i can do that later and then, of course, the fireplace um, scene. So that's what that one looks like on the back. And then, of course, these cute two cuties here as well. These are plain on the back, but of course, you can decorate those with paper or more rub-ons. You know, make th this kind of thing your own. But aren't they just so cute? Now, I'll leave the link um, to all of the supplies that Tapeology sent me in the box that um, I showed you on Sunday. I think I did the unboxing and first project share. Um, so that's where you'll find links to all the details. I will also try and find the link to this pack here as well, which, as I said, was one that... Um, a journal say I couldn't think of the name of the company journal say sent me but you know I just absolutely love these so if you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas and inspiration as always I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, so that you don't miss out on the final two um, episodes in this series but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now